Okay, here we go, truck rack round two. This is a fitting for the removable back bar and we just ran the hole saw through it so we can fit it up on the inside of the pipe right there from this side to this side and the fitting will make this back bar removable. All right, there we go. We got the sides in. We got the removable back bar. So that's our setup. Everything's tacked up. Removable we'll back it out bar. in the morning. We're gonna hide removable from the rain. Back bar. It looks like that. And then you just carry your impact around, and on occasion when you have to remove it, you just undo the stainless and remove it, and it's good to go. There's the complete. Everything's complete. Just gotta do the weld out. We'll do the weld out tomorrow. Everything, everything's lined up perfect. Oh, here comes the rain. All lined up, all good to go. Here comes the rain. There we go again, rain party. But we got it all done. So tomorrow we'll weld it. And it's no big deal now, if it rains tomorrow, we'll just bring it in here and weld it inside. So there we go, rain party. All right, here we go, the final mission in between rainstorms rolling out the pig machine we're gonna get this get this guy all tacked up it's saturday get this guy finished and get him out of here this is my tungsten choice for today 1.5 percent lanthanated 1 8 tungsten i'm using my little bump switch i don't have a gas lens i'm using bare nuts cheap torch it's a water-cooled torch that's broken so we're using 1 8 53 56 filler I've been doing it this way for 20 years the edges of my puddle isn't where I want it so I'm gonna go that's why I have a new tungsten I'm gonna go prep the tungsten and then uh, typically I'll weld all these inside joints first because they're out of sight out of mind and I'll get get my skill up to speed because I don't do this every day and uh, the idea is to blow through that anodized and push the anodized to the edges of the weld puddle. But I'm using a crappy old Dynasty 200 at about 180 amps right now, which I'm going to lower it down because the arc is a little wild right now. So I'm going to lower the amperage a little bit, try to get better control of the arc. But anyway, so we're going to prep our tungsten real nice. One, one good pointer I can give you if you're trying to weld this type of stuff is the tungsten stick out is critical. The closer you can get your tungsten to this aluminum pipe with the anodize on it, the better result you're going to have. But I'm going to go prep another tungsten, 1.5% lan lanthanated, and I'm going to sharpen it to a point, and I'm going to turn down my amperage to probably, uh, I don't know, 160, 170. Okay, there's round two, still not where we want it. Uh, I still need to get my tungsten stick out a little bit farther. Again, the name of the game, at least for me, is to have that tungsten as close as humanly possible to the metal. Uh, short, short arc. Okay, change of plans. More of the same. Just got rained off the back of the truck, so... Okay, here's an update. We ended up having to drag this thing inside. The rain was relentless took us a minute to relocate and uh, I've got all the inside stuff welded so now it's time to put down the visible stuff everything's calmed down a bit and we're we're regrouped so I'm gonna carry on I only got a couple more welds to go and this thing's done got some nice evening soft light after the storm but there we go the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Okay, there we go. That's uh, round two. So, same, same thing, just make a puddle move over make a puddle move over 
I'm keeping the uh, gas cup touching the metal so I can keep the arc really, really short. And just moving and grooving. Okay, there's the front. Okay, almost done. I'm very tired. It's been a long day. These are the last couple right there. Maybe you can see that. I'll go show you a couple of these. And then I'll pull the truck out. And that's that. We'll get some close-ups of all up there after. There you go. That's how she looks. Even though it's mill finish angle on the bottom, I'm still bump welding it. Oh, I just turn them up the ISO. That's what that one looks like. Okay, there's our removable uh, fitting. So we can undo those screws and remove this back bar and put the refrigerator in standing up. But uh, Sam's a boat guy, he'll, he'll enjoy that. And he always carries tools with him. So this is only gonna come out once every, once every six months. So most of the time it'll just be sitting in there. And there she is. That's a wrap.